I'd like to thank the Melbourne Press Club, the organisers of the Hall of Fame, and thank them especially for allowing me to enter this hall alongside some great journalists. It's really a privilege and um, thank you. We are the fourth estate and while it sounds a little bit grandiose, we are the guardians of public interest. And maybe a simple way to see that is, well, for example, in dictatorships, we don't exist except in small pockets underground and, and some very brave people doing their job uh, at great risk. In our own democracy, it's so easy to see over the years how we've played our role in, in, in shaping um, our society and keeping people honest from executive government down through parliament and through all our great institutions. In our own democracy, you need to look no further than freedom of information to see that as a body, we've been doing our work. To be a journalist for me has been a gift that just keeps on giving. And all of us have our favourite stories or great memories of experiences that have shaped who we are today. For me, it was the Vietnam War. Um, over several visits to Vietnam during that awful time. Um, looking back, I really believe that I grew up in Vietnam. I was forced to think more deeply. I was forced to try and understand the futility of war. I was forced to try and understand that strange mixture of uh, fear and testosterone that drives so many soldiers and when you're there in person it's quite different from the movies. I've enjoyed my career immensely. I could not wish for my life to have uh, unfolded any other way and it's a great privilege to be in the Hall of Fame with all these other great people and thank you.